Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Q4 NFY22 results conference call of GTPL Hathway hosted by MK Global Financial Services. We have with us today from the management, Mr. Aniruddha Sin, Jadeja, Promoter and Managing Director, Mr. Rajan Gupta, Chairman and Non-Executive Director, Mr. Piyush Pankaj, Business Head, CATV and Chief Strategy Officer, and Mr. Anil Botra, Chief Financial Officer. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode, and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions at the end of today's presentation. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I would now like to hand the conference over to Mr. Naval Sait from MK Global Financial Services. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, Faizan. Good evening, everyone. I would like to welcome the management and thank them for this opportunity. I shall now hand over the call to the management for the opening remarks. Uh, over to you, Anuhai, for your opening remarks. Thank you, Navalji. Good evening, everyone. A warm welcome to all of you to the conference call of GTPL Hathaway Limited to discuss the financial and operational performance of quarter four and annual FI 2022. I hope you and your family are all keeping safe and I pray for their well-being. I'm glad to inform you that board has recommended a dividend of 40% per share for FI 2022. With that, I hand over to Mr. Pius Pankaj, who can take you through the business and financial aspect of the company. Thank you, Mr. Jadeja. Good evening, everyone. I hope all of you are safe and healthy. As you are aware, GTPL Hathaway is one of the few consistently profit-making cable TV and broadband company in India. I am happy to share with you that GTPL Hathaway has become the number one MSO as per Tri's Performance Indicators Report. In the last six years, our CATV subscriber base has grown sharply by 2.3x to 8.40 million and for FY22, it has grown by 5%. Our broadband subscriber base has grown by 4.8x in last six years to 8,16,000 with an addition of 1,81,000 active subscribers in FY22. Some of our key achievements for FY22 includes we are number one MSO in India, we are number one broadband player in Gujarat, we expanded our presence in four new states, and we continue to enjoy net debt-free status in FY22. Let me now share the performance highlights for quarter four FY22 and annual FY22. In the CATV segment, our active subscribers stood at 8.40 million as on March 31, 22. GTPL's digital CATV services reach around 1,200 towns spread across 19 states in India. The company is expanding aggressively in Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, and the north northeastern states. GTPL's CATV platform services own and operate 40-plus channels across multiple journals. For FY22, we increased our active and paying subscriber base by 400K and 300K, respectively. The CATV industry offers an underlying growth opportunity for an organized and seasoned player like GTPL Hathaway. Our CATV business expansion will gain momentum with organic and inorganic growth in the coming quarters. The launch of GTPL Genie, our hybrid Android TV setup box, offering which bundles the convenience of live TV channels and OTT apps at attractive rates will further help us capture valid share of our customer base. Increasing applications of internet and communication services and increasing connectivity in urban and rural areas of India are expected to further consolidate our presence across India. In the broadband segment, we added 8,30,000 new home paths in FY22 and taking the total home paths as on March 31, 22 to 4.70 million. 
During the period, GTPL added 181,000 active subscribers, taking the total active subscribers count to 8,16,000 as on March 31, 2022. The broadband ARPU for FY22 increased by Rs. 5 YOI to Rs. 450 per month as on 31st March 2022. The average data consumption per customers stands at 256 GB per month as on March 31, up by 24%, 21% YOI. Let us now move to our financial performance. The consolidated results excluding APCR for annual during FY22 total revenue grew by 12% YOI to Rs 24,154 million. The CATV subscription revenue stood at Rs 10,753 million. The broadband revenue surged by 46% YOI to Rs 4,075 million led by healthy subscribers additions. EBITDA increased by 4% YOI to Rs 5,677 million. For quarterly results, during quarter 4 FY22, total revenue grew by 4% YOI to Rs 6,209 million. The CATV subscription revenue stood at Rs 2,695 million. The broadband revenue increased by 34% YOI to Rs 1,098 million. The consolidated results, including EPC, are for annual during FY22, total revenue stood at Rs 24,567 million. EBITDA for FY22 stood at 5,701 million with a margin of 23%. PAC stood at Rs 2006 million up by 6% YOI. For quarterly results, during quarter 4 FY22, total revenue stood at Rs 6,278 million. EBITDA stood at Rs 1,400 million with a margin of 22% and PAC stood at Rs 552 million. The standalone results excluding EPC are for annual, during FY22, the revenue increased by 7% YOI to Rs 15,264 million, EBITDA of Rs 3,268 million with an EBITDA margin of 21%. The standalone results, including APCR, for annual, during FY22, revenue stayed at Rs 15,677 million, EBITDA stood at Rs 3,292 million with an EBITDA margin of 21%. PAT for FY22 stood at Rs 1,380 million, an increase of 4% YOI. This is all from my side. Thank you everyone for your attention. We can now begin with the questions and answers session. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The first question is from the line of Ria M. from Equitas Investments. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Pratik Sai here. Uh, so my first question was on the new product that we have launched, GDPL Genie. So what kind of self-cannibalization do we expect uh, in this product? And if you could also explain about the strategy with geographies, uh, have we uh, targeted this and how do we plan to scale this product up? So, hi Pratiksha. Cannibalization, it is not going to cannibalize the product because if my current subscriber is going into this product, 
they have become going to become more sticky and we are going to get more revenues so uh, the cannibalization is not there in this product we are we did it for uh, attracting the new customers and upgrading our existing customers to this new product uh, right now we have launched it in the six states which is gujarat rajasthan maharashtra goa andhra pradesh and telangana in the next phase we are going to increase it to all over india which is very soon by end of april it is going to be all over india launch and uh, uh, the target is that uh, we are going to target phase 1 and phase 2 cities first and then go into the phase 3 and phase 4 cities subsequently okay can you uh, elaborate a little bit about the response of this product so far how many of our existing users have upgraded to this how many new users have we got actually in our uh, you know home markets like gujarat and the like uh apiksha it's too early to give a trend on this yes we are getting lot of queries uh the product is going out of shelf very fast which we are seeing but right now giving any trend on this is uh, uh, a bit early for us let's wait for the next quarter we will give you the right trend at that point of time which will be more uh, logical and uh, more discernible for the analyst all right and uh, so this quarter we've seen some uh, subscriber addition in the cable tv business does this include any inorganic uh, growth here or this was purely organic yeah it's a uh, it's includes inorganic and organic as we said after uh, nto that the growth will come from inorganic and organic uh, the first year of nto has gone into stabilizing the industry and everything and as we were getting ready for doing the acquisitions and going for inorganic the covid hit in march 2020 and we are not able to do any uh, inorganic growth so from this quarter we have started so this is inorganic and organic both do we have any uh, you know a uh, pipeline for inorganic growth any uh, budget that we have allocated or any other opportunities on dashboard uh, opportunities are there we are evaluating those and uh, as uh, the the more and more opportunity will come as we are seeing uh, we will do the acquisitions at the appropriate time after all the evaluations and all and uh, if you want we can take it offline if we require yeah. any this any specific opportunity if you want to talk about perfect uh, just one last question if you could give uh, you know the capex budget for the next year is set and if you could elaborate on that yeah so this year we did the capex of 363 crores which is which includes 180 crore of catv capex and 183 crores of broadband capex next year we are keeping the target of 450 crores for the capex on which around 180 crore is going to be the cable capex rest is going to be the broadband capex all right thank you thanks a lot thank you the next question is from the line of dikshit doshi from white stone financial advisors please go ahead uh, yeah thanks for the opportunity uh, sir my first question is uh, regarding this new product gtpl genie uh, so you know uh, uh, in our website uh, i saw only this uh, package of package pricing of 460 rupees uh, where ott plus only free to air channels are available so for other let's say ott plus uh, paid channel uh, what is the package prices so that is also the other package prices with hd mm-hmm. package also we have declared in the website so it's available it's close to around 650 rupees plus tax so okay three packages we have declared one is with fta one is with the uh, full all full all hindi pack and one is with the full hd pack and the difference of pricing is around 100 rupees in each okay okay uh, now coming to uh, so uh, in this uh, package uh, in the initial phase are we going to uh, make any loss or uh, you know reduction in the margin or uh, the deals with the ott players is such that uh, we will not 
take any margin it in this business no no taking margin also or aisa koi loss bhi nahi ho raha hai so okay we are going to maintain our ebitda okay. we are going to maintain our ebitda in this uh, business also okay we are going to maintain our ebitda okay and this does not include the internet right they have to take separately so we have offer include broadband also broadband cable tv and ott also so right now we have offered uh, catv plus cable tv plus ott the new products which is broadband plus ott plus combining all together catv plus broadband plus ott which we are launching very soon okay okay so that will be obviously higher package prices because broadband will also be included right yeah okay. you're right okay now uh, coming to this quarter results so uh, if i see our um, you know segment wise revenue and uh, pbt break up uh, in both the cases like cable tv and internet there was margin uh, reduction so any particular reason uh, few thing we have to consider that uh, uh, one is your activation revenue because the deferred revenue is going away uh, on the index that's why you will see that the activation revenue has come down by around 34 crores the whole year and the second is your epc revenue because epc project was one time project which has been completed so you will see that the epc project revenue has come down and uh, because of that you will see that there is some margin shrinkage on overall but uh, we are very hopeful that that will come back uh, as we go forward okay no uh, so basically uh, you know even excluding the epc uh, you know from q3 to q4 uh, our activation revenue was also same uh, but still our you know profit has come down by almost 7 8% in cable yeah that is uh, there is some year end adjustments which happen as you know as the annual comes then you have to go for uh, some impairments of your investment and everything comes into the play that's why you have seen a bit of shrinkage in the margin which uh, will come back in quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 okay and uh, in uh, so one time one time one time uh, uh, cost which has come into the play okay and in terms of uh, in broadband also uh, you know revenue has gone up but our profitability has come down quarter on quarter yeah so uh, there are some one time items which has uh, come into play because of being the annual uh, results on the quarter four so if you compare yoy year to year you will see that there is a growth in the broadband uh, good growth in the broadband but because of annual uh, quarter four always you will see that trend that quarter four it comes down a bit because of uh, annual provisions okay so annual is it fair to assume that annual whatever the margins are there uh, that margin are maintainable yeah that margin will uh, it's going to grow now the margins as the situation is now normal uh the covid is uh, almost uh, in there and uh, all the economy and everything has become normal so we are hopeful that uh, the margin will grow from here on okay now my next question is uh, you know in broadband business uh, uh, this year uh, we have done a fantastic numbers so how do you see customer addition in fy23 as well uh is there any scope of further increase uh, or we will be able to maintain this 180000 per year uh ragan sir yeah you shall take forward this uh, uh so gentlemen essentially if you see uh, last two years okay gdp per aggressive growth in broadband uh, you know active base that has been led by doing more and more fiber to home pass as well as increasing penetration okay having said that there are two more clear opportunities which are there further increase in home pass penetration okay because as you just gave figures we are still sub 20% in terms of penetration okay 
which means we can further increase with the increasing relevance of uh, you know high speed fiber broadband uh, there is a still scope for increasing further uh, penetration in the home pass by 7-8%. Okay. So that's a clear opportunity. And parallelly, as you all know, GTPL has done a large fiber project. And now fiber has been taken to all district level towns and all uh, Tessie level towns. Okay. And now we have to launch broadband there. Okay. So potentially, frankly, among us, we have just started. It will all depend upon management ability to keep on doing more home pass and keep on increasing further penetration and also going to this next level towns. Okay. And I think which current confidence level is very, very high. And we of course have to ensure we keep on executing it, you know, the way we have done in the last two years. Okay. And uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, this is, uh, you know, what we have done in last two years is mainly through our own network. And now we are also, uh, you know, uh, planning to do it through our channel part, uh, our partners also LCOs in the other states. So how do you see uh, that also ramping up going forward? Yeah. Uh, the broadband through partners uh, we have already launched and uh, we are progressing well. Uh, already we have make a good uh, road path in. Uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Bihar, and Jharkhand states, and uh, we are progressing well. We are hopeful that uh, this uh, segment, B2B segment of broadband, is going to add uh, uh, business and value uh, and numbers all all through in, the, in our broadband business. And uh, we are looking forward that uh, we are going to get good numbers uh, and expand all over India through this uh, business model. Okay, one last bookkeeping question and then I'll join back in the queue. Uh, so in this, uh, once we do it through partners uh, broadband, so we'll be recording 450 rupees ARPU and then uh, we'll pay the share to the partner or we will uh, record the revenue net of partners uh, share. No, no, this is, uh, as you say, accounting, yes, uh, because uh, uh, GTPL is going to do the billing to the customer, so we are going to get 100% revenue, and out of 100%, whatever share we have to provide to the partner, we will share as a cost. This is the operator. Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Doshi. Maybe request that you return to the question queue for yeah, sure. the questions. Thank you. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1. The next question is from the line of Amit Doshi from Care PMS. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so you mentioned that uh, this new product, uh, Jimmy, uh, also has option of you know that internet service as well as the cable TV and OTT bundled. So, uh, uh, so just to understand, so whenever this revenue through Jimmy would come, so what you would bifurcate in this segment of uh, cable TV and internet separately, or how would it uh, account for in this segmented result that we see on a quarterly basis? Uh, see, right now we have long, first we have to understand that uh, GTPL GD is the product which is the hybrid box, which is a CATV product, which is CATV plus all embedded OTTs which we are providing, which we have launched right now. The revenue of this all will come into the CATV business straight away. Yeah, we are going to launch, as we mentioned, that there is going to be a broadband plus OTT product, which the, all the revenue will come into the broadband business. And there is a, going to be the third product, which is combination of CATV plus OTT plus broadband. Here, CATV plus OTT will come into the uh, CATV business, and broadband will go into the broadband business. Okay, so second and third is yet to launch, the second part and the third part which you mentioned. That's right. That's that's what I mentioned that, that we are going to launch very shortly. Okay, okay, okay. And currently just uh, if you were to tell you how many number of users, you know, there will be Gini users uh, from whatever, uh, you know, you have launched till date. Uh, right now it is very early, Amit. Uh, as I said earlier also that uh, we will give you all the trends in next quarter, or we can touch base offline also on this. 
but uh, we want to disclose all the trends next quarter. I just see that uh, we have seen the lot of uh, queries and a uh, lot of interest which is coming on. The product is going off the shelf very fast, and uh, but the uh, uh, exact trends and all the analysis and all uh, we would like to provide in the next quarter. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. So our second question is related to this uh, earlier participant, you know, who was talking about margin. So I think I also buy the point that the margin independent of, you know, excluding EPC project, as well as uh, not only quarter on quarter, year on year, the margins have reduced. Now you mentioned uh, during the discussion, there is some sort of a one-time adjustment that was done in the internet uh, uh, segment. So can you just slightly clarify what could that be and what kind of amounts that are involved? So we kind of taken judgment as to what are the sustainable profitability figures. The reason is because uh, your 30% subscribers have increased and not only that, the ARPU has also increased. So logically, the EBITDA of internet segment should have been uh, uh, far more higher. So just trying to reconcile the difference. So uh, there is uh, one time hit which we have taken on the insurance side, as you know, and uh, that's uh, more on the conservative accounting on uh, as uh, uh, we are hopeful or we are very confident that the recovery will happen uh, already we are in touch with the insurance company for doing that but as already around one and a half years has gone uh, for recovery of that which we apply for the recovery and uh, our for, for doing the conservative accounting we have taken the hit of uh, insurance on that okay so um, uh, can you quantify the amount uh, 12 crore is the amount in the broadband business oh so that's all taken in q4 is it yeah some in q3 some in q4 okay okay fine. mostly in q4 okay 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 thank you thank you and all the best thank you Reminded the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one. The next question is from the line of Dikshit Toshi from Whitestone Financial Advisors. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks for the opportunity again. Uh, sir, in our last horn call, you have mentioned that, you know, uh, starting 1st April, we may look at increasing our share uh, against the MSO share uh, in the cable TV business. Have we done that? Uh, no, that's it. We are waiting for uh, NTO2 to come. As NT 2 will come at that point of time, as we have to change the, we might have to change the packages and all. So we are waiting for that as uh, uh, right now it is there that it can come in July or August as the may try the last date given. So we are waiting for that. Earlier it was first April. Yeah. Earlier it was first April, which has been extended to June, July, June right now, and expected to start in July or August from there. Okay, and uh, so you know, just uh, to understand it better, so you know, uh, we have been talking this for last two, three years, and then obviously the COVID has come and the NTO one has come. But after two, two and a half years, do you feel that we will be able to uh, do that uh, increase in the share? Because, uh, or do you feel that MSO, uh, LCOs might not, you know, uh, like it? Uh, we are confident that we will. Because they are can. used to now, almost from three years, they are used, used to with the higher share. So how do you see it? No, we are confident that uh, we can increase, yes. The increase has to happen with the changes in all the packages. And uh, if it is happening industry-wise, it will help us. Okay. Okay. And uh, last uh, last thing from my side, any update on the AGR issue? Uh, AGR issues? Uh, Rajan, sir? No, please, I don't have any additional update as of now. Yeah, yeah. So right now, AGR issues, uh, no update is there. We are waiting for the uh, date from the court. And 
but one order is yeah. yeah one one order has come for the net magic which is uh, very uh, which is very uh, positive for the whole industry that uh, we are similar to what treatment has been given to the psus the same treatment has to be given to other players also but uh, still we are waiting for the final order to come and uh, which is going to help us mm-hmm. but it's a very positive development for the whole industry that uh, uh, the court has said that uh, we are at par with we have to be treated at par with the psus okay okay thank you that's it from my side thank you the next question is from the line of gautami desai from chanakya capital mm-hmm. services please go ahead Uh, hi uh, uh in this uh, in the past uh, three or four quarters i think we've been saying that uh, because of covid we are losing some cable tv uh, customers especially the commercial ones so would you like to share some trend like are the same customers coming back or anything else you know you want to share in terms of trend that is one trend i want to know and another is uh, also some trend on the broadband churn uh, is it reducing increasing uh, how it has been uh, so that is my one question and another question is that uh, how is inflation treating you i mean how is inflation treating gtpl uh, in terms of uh, are you facing the it could be anything it could be wage inflation or bandwidth cost But anything else you know that you feel um, uh, it's it's happening on the inflation front to gtp so uh hi got me uh commercial customer as i said that around 7 and a half lakhs we lost when the covid started and uh, around 4 lakhs has come back on that still we are seeing that trend that uh, every quarter around 20000 30000 subscribers are coming back from that uh, the same subscriber which you are talking about they are gone they are coming but uh, the the rate of uh, 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 joining of customer is declining you can say as uh, earlier it was higher now it is a bit lower it's like uh, 20000 average for the last quarter it was 2025 between that only uh, so that's that's the case in the commercial side Uh, second you talk about the uh, churn of uh, broadband we have seen over the years that the churn has uh, come down yeah. and uh, the trend is showing that it is coming down as we are increasing more and more every tier subscriber base we are seeing that the uh, churn is getting arrested it's not like earlier trends of uh, uh, 28% 30% now it has uh, come down to around 20% somewhere uh rajan sir can you take back the churn part uh yeah please uh so gopi essentially i think there are two things happening as you just mentioned a is improvement of our service okay through launch of fttth in most of the home pass as well as i think in general lot of software upgradation the way call center operates the kind of support consumer is given on uh, various other digital platform etc okay but parallelly industry competition level does remain high and that's the reason whatever churn few just told i mean that's also relatively high while it has come down from earlier okay so i think churn because of customer proposition uh, you know that has uh, improved a lot but uh, competition intensity in the market that's already quite high and that's there for quite some time and uh, so that's where you know it's better from earlier uh but uh, but this way we are okay uh, thanks yeah and my next question on inflation yeah inflation uh, i will say uh, uh, the general inflation is uh, there in the admin cost or you can talk about salary employee cost and all they are there on operating cost we talk about bandwidth and all as more and more volume of bandwidth is required so we are negotiating well and uh, bringing down the bandwidth cost a bit but as more volume is required so you will see there is a increase in the bandwidth cost on the overall uh, in our pnl 
but if you talk about per gb cost it is it is coming down okay fine thank you thank you reminder to the participants anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one participants to ask a question you may press star and one the next question is from the line of mitain latia from fractal capital investments please go ahead yeah hi uh, uh, i was wanting if you have broken out the geographical split of the 4.7 million home parks that we have on broadband yeah so uh mutain mostly it is in uh, uh gujarat which you can see around the 95% is in gujarat 5% is on the six cities which uh, we mention every time that's uh, pune nagpur hyderabad jaipur patna and varanasi uh is it possible because now our broadband strategy is sort of also through partners is it possible for us to do some sort of a geographical split going forward on the broadband side that would be very useful yeah, yeah. point taken with uh, it as as we progress we will start introducing geographical wise uh, the fiber base uh, great uh, and uh, if you could just give some specifics about uh, you know Is, is the Q4 adjustment entry is about uh, data, or is it some is it, is it about something else, and uh, which makes the Q4 number not comparable with the Q3 number? Uh, it's, it's insurance, Mitesh. Uh, that is just that this time. So normally, uh, on going forward on a Q4, also we should not have uh, one offs, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, great. Uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Hitin Borucha from Joinder Capital. Please go ahead. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Hi, sir. Good evening. So most of my questions have already been answered. I have only one question. Are we giving any guidance on revenue and margins for the existing FY23 year? Uh, 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 the guidance is just that we are going to maintain uh, our CAGR, uh, one hundred basis points here and there, but uh, we are going to maintain our CAGR in both. Uh, Revenue and EBITDA. Uh, that's the way. As uh, after two years, we are getting a clean year now, and uh, we look forward to a aggressive growth uh, in both the businesses uh, in this financial year. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Participants, to ask a question, you may press star and one. As there are no further questions from the participants, I now hand the conference over to Mr. Nachiket Kale from Orient Capital. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Yeah, hi, good evening. Thanks everybody for joining in on the call. We at Orient Capital are investor relations advisors to GTPL Hathaway. So I'd like to thank once again. I'd like to thank everybody once again, the management, the participants, analysts, and the investors. And we look forward to having continuous engagement with all the market participants. For any queries, please please feel free to contact uh, myself or my colleague Pawan Soni. Our contact details are available on the presentation. And again, I'd like to thank the management for the time and thank you everybody for being on the call. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of MK Global Financial Services, that concludes this conference call. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.